talking about those sinners. We're not talking about outside the doors. We're talking about the church. Right. They lack enthusiasm. That was that was proven a while ago on praise and worship. Right. I see the time we come to yeah. God's house and was ready. Yeah. We were ready because we were tired of the Holy Spirit Sabbath keeper. We were tired of the week's work and we were, hey, is this the same? And we were ready to come in and we were ready to do what God had us do. But man, you sit on Friday night know what dreams are? Anybody had dreams before? Some goals that you had? Come on, older people. Sometimes we've gotten kids and we didn't really want to have them early that early. We wanted to plan things out and we, everybody here ought to have some dreams. If you didn't raise your hand, you need to ask God to help you get some dreams. Get some goals because if you don't have no goals in your life, you're going to wander around aimlessly for nothing. Amen. I'm talking about that you can speak in tongues, you can lay hands, and you can prophesy. But if you don't have no goals and you don't set them on That's purpose, right. you're going to be a wanderer. Yeah. Say, Lord, help me not to be a wanderer. Lord, so why would people stop dreaming after realizing that it only takes an action to catapult what was conceived in their mind? Come on, Apostle. Fear is false evidence appearing real. Right. Look at your neighbor and say, fear is nothing more than false evidence appearing real. You can't do it. You won't make it. You can't get there. They won't support you. You want to stay out your mouth again. Fear is nothing more than false evidence appearing real. Hallelujah. We, are, we have allowed our self-imposed limitations to hinder us. Some of us major or minor distractions. Uh -huh. Look at your neighbor again and tell them, please help me. Please Not help to me. major or minor distractions. Uh -huh. They didn't speak. They left your church. They don't like you. Help me not to major, to play or minor distractions. How about that? Come on. Yeah. Come on. That doesn't mean nothing. We must concentrate on what's important. Yes. And tell your neighbor, stop conforming, stop conforming. and start performing. Yes. Stop performing. So say, neighbor, stop conforming to what you stop see. Conforming. Stop getting on the road, everybody else yes. on. What God told you, he told you. Who he made you to be, he made you to be. Stop getting behind everybody else. Stop thinking you got to follow behind the family train. And say, neighbor, I'm going to stop conforming, and I'm going to start performing. Yes. Put your hands together and give God some praise. That was good. That was good. Israel loved Joseph more than any of his other sons because he was a child of his old age. And he made him an elaborately embroidered coat. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Let me tell y'all something. I don't care 
because of I'm the favorite child due to my inability to wallow in deceit, rebellion, and disobedience. You better get to a place if they don't like me, they don't like me. If they're jealous, they're jealous. I'm not going to follow behind you and disobey my leader. I'm not going to follow behind you and run after the crowd. I'm not going to follow behind you and try to go ahead of my time. But I'm going to sit myself right here and get like the old school guy. I'm going to sit down here and tell my leader, tell me, you ready now. I'm not going to go before. I don't care how many people tell me. I'm the prophet of the world. I'm the evangelist of the universe. I'm going to sit myself down and I'm going to eat from the whole table. When his brothers realized that their father loved him more than them, and he did, they grew to hate him. Look at your neighbor and so you better get some tough skin this season. Get some tough skin this season, neighbor. Because the more you obey and the more you're in a place, hallelujah, to be loyal, and the more you're in a place to submit, your people that you thought were like you going to be yeah. jealous. I'm talking about you preachers too. They're they going to be jealous. Yeah. And how they get that? Why did he ask them to preach on the service? Why did he ask them to do that? How did they get to see? There is something about a son and a real daughter. When that, when the parents need something, they don't have to get behind this pulpit and tell everybody, I gave my daddy $500. No, 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 no. They just call you on your phone, say, meet me at McDonald's in the parking lot. And slide you what you need. What you give me this for? God told me to come and give this to you. And I got to obey what he said. Because I want to be blessed. And I want to go somewhere. And so, we can't be moved by people. Uh-huh. Lord Chesterfield, an English statesman, wrote a passage. I'm almost done. The ways we learn. And it reads, there are three classes of people in the world. The first, learn from their own experience. Somebody said these people are wise. People are wise. Uh -huh. The second, learn from the experience of others. These people are happy. The third, neither learn from their own experience nor the experience of others. Somebody said these people are fools. Make sure you don't fall in that third class of people. Come on, sir. You got to look and see what's in front of you. God has placed people. I don't know why he has me going this way. Come he on. has placed Come people on. in your life to guide you. No, we 